Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Um, where are we? We're at the very top of this uh, spiral plant in the main room. And I didn't go all the way up because I don't know why. Fuck. Damn it! Shit! Oh no! Ugh. You know what? I'll meet you up there. What a great start. Okay. About flip it and dip it in time. So, why are we up in here? Up in here? Up in here. I'm not sure why we're up in here. I could have sworn there was a jiggy up in here. Up in here? There's an entrance to another part of the world. Why am I showing you this? Normally I would just meet you at the next jiggy, but... I'm going all ape shit today. I don't know why. Well, that's one way to get to the next area. And that's one way to blow up your own car. <sighs> right down here. There we go. Okay. Whoo! Taxi of Terror. <laughs> that went surprisingly terribly. Oh, Master Banjo, I'm doomed. If I fail to secure adequate transport for my team, I'll be turned into a cassette player. I sure hope so. Captain Flash McBlubber, Crash Research Team's Taxi is the newest member of the team. I must find alternative transport or face having my circuits, something. Don't worry about it, or Jolly. We've got the hang of vehicle business. We'll take your people where they need to go. No, I do not have the hang of this vehicle business. I quite literally do not have the hang of this vehicle business. Um. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? Uh, no, no! Okay. Okay, this should work well for this. I'm not sure how many people we have to take to places. We gotta take four? Are you kidding me? Okay, well, we'll try to do two trips then. As terrible of an idea as that is. Hold up there, cowgirl. Alright. So this shouldn't be too difficult, um, literally as you drop them off they'll just do their thing. And I don't think anyone goes to anywhere specific, I think it's just take these people to these uh, spots, like there's no designated path that certain people have to go. Um, of course there might be, I'm not sure. Get back on Klungo. Oh, wait. Okay. There we go. We'll ride up the wall and lift off from there. Okay. That went swimmingly, if I do say so myself. Get out of here. Okay. Now, just uh, Huamba. There we go. Alrighty. I think her area, or one of them, which in this case is going to be the last one. Get on! Okay. I think the last one in this case is going to be... I think it's somewhere underwater, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Which, why, in the build process, you saw me check to see if I had a scuba seat on. Was so if I can actually get down here without, you know, failing. And it is underwater. Okay. Good thing I deactivated my sinkers earlier. But there is a tunnel down here. If you follow it quite straightforward, you should come to this big open area down here. And that is where she goes. Done and done. Overall, pretty simple. You just need a fast vehicle with a lot of seats on it that uh, can hopefully fly because flying makes that infinitely easier. But, anyways. 
I will see you. Oh wait, no, I won't see you at the next challenge because it's right here. I'm just being stupid again. <laughs> I'm so smart. Flashy fly off. I'm gonna guess this is gonna be an air race. Nice boots. Nice belt. Nice sword. Nice non-existent nipples. So why don't you just zoom off for Captain McBlubber? Captain Flash McBlubber wants you to prove his piloting ability over a land and air-based race. If you don't have any vehicles equipped for both, maybe you can find some along the way. And what sense does that make? That's literally all we should have to be able to do to win this. I don't get that... I, I'm not sure. I don't understand the, um, if you don't have some, maybe you can find some along the way. That just is not computing for me. But anyways, because the Training of Terror, although, whoa, although this is a very big, um, place, you'll find that it has a lot of tight spots that it wants you to drive through. So, flying isn't always the best option. You only should fly when it tells you to. Or if you see a checkpoint that's very far away and in a straightforward path. But other than that, just pay attention and don't wipe out too much because that's really what's going to kill you, or trying to get the trophy at least. Thanks, Captain McBlubber Nuts, you butthole. Oh well. See, he can win the land race, but overall, I'm far more superior when it comes to air. Or at least I think I am. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh boy. Oh! Okay. We're, we're, we're stable. We are stable. Ah, oh, that, no. Don't want to go back for that. If anything, we're too fast for our own good, but I don't, I don't, I'm not sure. See, and look at his vehicle. It's literally a, uh, it's a bike with a jet on it and wings that can fold out. So he's like already one-upped us. And now that this gigantic nut isn't in the way like it's not supposed to be. We can actually do this without wiping out at the beginning. Okay. Once again, I think we're too fast for our own good, but we'll see. I just need to take it slow, but still accelerate when I can. And not get butt crunched right there. I'm not even sure what butt crunch means. Now that I know where these checkpoints are, I can actually do this a lot better, too. A lot better. <laughs> Pompous Wionio initiated. See, that went ten times better. And hopefully, we can finish this race pretty soon here. Okay, there's a spiral downward. I've now got that. Initiating land travel. Oh, I saw the vehicle now. Where it's like, hey man, in case you're an idiot, here's the car you need to drive. Okay. Oh, it's right there. Move, you son of a beach. That went surprisingly horribly. Yes, indeed. Rivals aren't meant to be well-matched or whatever he said. My vehicle's right there, but I'm going to be super lazy and ultra-American and just pull it over with my wrench. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, meet you at the next challenge. What am I doing? Okay, there we go. Meet you at the next challenge. Okay, that was surprisingly a really big pain in the ass to get up here. I know it didn't look like it, but yeah, it was. Germ Warfare. Let's get this started. Hey, what are you doing here? This is my hiding place. Don't you realize I got incoming hostiles? 
Oh, he's eating pizza. Monitoring police communication. Turns out Grunty's on her way here with some evil germs. She ran for cover and trying to stop them, or instead of trying to stop them. And he's freaking out. I would have nailed him with my phaser if I hadn't sold to pay for the shuttle out of here. I wish I hadn't bothered now. So what happens if they get inside, Bacon Brain? All the plants and researchers be infected with horrible diseases. I guess. What do I look like? An expert on germs? Let's not go there. Better see if we can stop them. Seeing as you're so busy hiding. So these giant germs are coming in through everywhere. And they're just flowing through the glass. But we got Balloon Spiker. Grunty has lured odd looking germs from the Degazit system into the terranium. Or ter terrarium. Jesus Christ. There's another mistake I'm going to keep making unintentionally. Take to the air and blast them out of existence before they spread all manner of unpleasant diseases. Once again, this is another one based on skill, not so much based on how good you are at, uh, you know, pooping and stuff, which I wish it was. But anyways, might not look like much, but for now, you got this one single huge germ up here. And what happens is when you pop him, he's gonna start splitting into more and more. And you have to get rid of seven of them, and the time limit to get the trophy, and later to get the um, the coveted Dingma Boober. Of course, these balloons are a pain in the patootie to navigate with. So this is not easy by any stretch of the imagination. Like, it would be ten times easier if I wasn't in something that looked like just total ass and controlled like total ass. And if I just had like a helicopter, like that would just make my day, but nope. Okay. As you can tell, we're not going to get this. <laughs> I don't know how clear that is. But it's just, it's, ugh, this thing is so hard to drive. Like, I would go as far as to say that a lot of this is based on luck, and not a lot of it's based on skill. Yeah, we're gonna restart. I think the best strategy is to get above the germs. Not to get below them, or to pop them from below. And then, I guess, I don't know, work your way down rather than up. Even though this thing travels faster down than it does up, but I don't know. It's hard to explain a good strategy for this because there really isn't one. It's like I said, a lot of it is based on luck and just mastering the maneuverability of something that controls like total ass. See, now I didn't mean to do that. Also didn't mean to do that. But hopefully we can pop this guy and then land over on that blue one. Because that guy didn't pop. What the <laughs> game? And actually, these uh, red ones, believe it or not, are the last stage of the uh, popping process. But I hit one earlier and it didn't pop. Okay, well that one did. Guess he decided to stop being a jerk. You know, I was kind of hoping this thing would have some sort of wheels on it, but it didn't. <laughs> See, that was just a Hail Mary falling and shooting like that. I don't know. There was no strategy involved there. 
anything, this is going to be the challenge that kills me. And I know, I wasted time right there at the beginning, just because I was checking my timer, but unfortunately Norton likes to be an asshole for some god-awful reason. <laughs> I'm going to stick a pop-up on your screen. Not go away until you do something. But I think my above strategy works semi-decent. You just gotta not prematurely shoot your wad. Like that. Like, that was bad. That was not what I meant to do. As much as it worked, looked like it worked, it did not. Oh. See, and this thing, like... Why don't you move where I tell you to move? Okay, apparently that red one, although I hit it, it did not pop. Again. Okay, there we go. Now it is. See, that was good. That was good right there. That went surprisingly well. Although we're still not going to get the trophy, but that's exactly how it should be done. Yep. Yeah. Okay, well, let's try one more time. We should be able to get it this time. I have to keep looking over to check my time just to make sure uh, I'm not making a hour-long Banjo-Kazooie episode as much as you kids would love that. Okay, so, here's the plan. We're gonna... No, we're not gonna go up. We're gonna just, you know, fly above him, sit on his head, and hopefully he'll do something as a reaction to that. I'm actually wondering if, um... If, uh... Yeah! Kick his ass! Um, <laughs> anyways, besides me freaking out there, uh, I wonder if, um, what was I wondering? I just had something in my head that I was wondering, and it related to this challenge, and now I don't know what it was. So, that sucks. That was pretty good right there at the red one. That was slightly bad. Because now one of those is going to go rocketing towards the top. Let's see if we can shoot this one while we're going up. Okay. Well, see, now it's just a race against time, but we're not going to be able to get up there fast enough. So really, once again, it's based on luck. <laughs> or part of it is. It's just where they fly and... Ugh. I hate this challenge. It's one of my least favorites. But we should be able to get it this time. I'm contemplating shooting this first guy just to see if that keeps him more organized or something. Like if just popping this guy by shooting him would be beneficial. Okay, well it definitely launched one of the blue guys into a slightly good position. This one's not exactly in a good position. Come on! Okay, that was actually really good right there. I don't know what I'm trying to fall on. That 
about to say. That should get that guy. Now, no, this is a bad place to be. <laughs> Ugh. I told you. It's a bad place to be. Okay, this is going to be 100% based on just where these decide to go after I pop the blue one. Okay, I deflected one of them. Gives me a little bit of hope. And I lost it. Once again, because of just... <sighs> Holy fuck. I hate that mission. That is so goddamn terrible. I can't even stand it. Never again, never again, will I ever do that, ever. I hate that thing, I hate that vehicle, I hate germs, I'm gonna turn into Monk. <sighs> anyway, that'll be it for today. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. I will return whenever I return from killing myself. Anyways, bye bye. See you next time.